Hello world, this is JWP, J. Ward Primo Beats, coming to you live from my home studio. For about 20 years I've been mixing and mastering music, rapping, songwriting, recently started singing, and everything else that goes along with music production, such as graphic design, editing, photo editing, video editing, and for 15 years I've been using SynthEdit to make my own audio plugins. Check out my website, jwpsite.com, for my social links, latest news and updates, and public offerings. My Twitch, jwpstream, my YouTube, at jwptube, or my Facebook, JWP, M -A -A, uh, JWP, M -E -T -A, JWP Meta. If you'd like to help support what I do, check out my Patreon, JWP Patreon. That's with two Ps. There's exclusive content there for making your own audio plugins and synthetic. My GoFundMe, JWP Fund, or my PayPal, JWPMAS at gmail.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, I uh, follow, like, subscribe, comments are appreciated. A little bit, uh, what's it called? Fragmented there. So last I left off, I was looking at tuning the kick drum here, or rather the compressor, pushing the kick through the compressor and getting some of its body in there that's sustained. I was saying transients last time, and as I understand it, that it's not the right word. Um, transients are all the different parts of a sound. So it's kind of like the whole sound when we say transients that kind of just means the whole sound what i was talking about was the attack right the attack the sustain and the release as far as a, a sample goes i mean there's a decay too however in a lot of drums there's not much of a decay there's a decay however just more of a release then let's see there's no sustain so it's adr right attack decay release not much of a sustain unless it's an 808 and then of course that's just a bass oh, i'm talking to myself here about nothing so again last i left off i did push the kick through a couple amps and out through a compressor and then turned it down just to bring it back to level so that's pretty much done one thing i do want to look at here is um getting these low end right Of course, they actually look pretty balanced. And I was considering using like Tote for that. Like, what is this free filter? High shelf cut. Okay, it works. And what am I looking for here? Tote. See if I can get some low end control. Of course, there's nothing in control now. Bass taming. It's a super click, click, click. So I'm not sure what it's doing. Can I speed this up? Does this go any faster? It goes faster, but it doesn't have like, doesn't have much of a response. I can't remember how to make it faster. I always forget this. So was it helping? I don't really know. looks like it's okay so from there I'm gonna go to the actually I have to move on to the snare right I just wanted to see if the, there was a setting for that in tote which it looks like there is however there's no inconsistencies in the low end so I can't really tell it's actually doing anything as well it looks like totes overdoing it and of course, with Vox Angle, we can't click anywhere to get it to jump to the front. I'll just close that. Okay. So where is this sitting here? Like, not 
the uh, pattern for it is probably the best way to do this. So this pattern has both of the snares here. I'm gonna do F sharp, right? Weirdness. So this looks like looking like a C snare. And I want to bring that up to F sharp. Of course, I'll put this down here. Let's actually put it in the second slot to try to keep things tight and together in case I want to bring something in or before and after. Okay, so what did I say? Uh, C4, C4, C3, C4, C4-ish. So on A4, let's go C4, and we want to come up and then F sharp. And don't leave really like that. Okay, so down to F sharp. Better. Store that in a separate state here. Can I undo that? I don't think I can. Yeah, I can. Okay, but it has to be every one though. Okay, so I'll store this and so that. Yeah, that just sounds weird. Okay, store in separate state. Flip with separate states. Uh, C4. Come down. Turn this up for me. Flip. That needs to be sharp, right? No, that sounds weird. Is it even in F sharp? Boom? I don't know, it's kind of supposed to be high like that, but I mean, it just sounds, it sounds so small. Viego Mendez, Viego, Viego Mendez, what's happening? Which is, yeah, it just sounds really small. So compared to like really big or really small, I don't want it in C. Flip. We'll just move on to the next one. Uh. It does sound more right. Right, and I'll squish it in a moment. I just want to see this other snare first. Maybe get a feel for it from there. I don't know what this other snare is. This is the main snare. Okay, so this is looking at A sharp. Three, A sharp three. We'll find out because if I move it around, it'll change. Like it won't proper, it won't properly move, right? So F sharp, it's lower. So yeah, so that's where it's at. It's A sharp three, store in separate state, and then flip, flip. Okay, so it doesn't matter at that point. So let's try the higher one. Just super. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't sound right. It sounds weird high. But they work, right? Like they they're the right key, so they sound like they fit. But it just sounds too wrong. And there's the low one, right? Let's try them both high first before flipping. They match now, right? They're the same key now, right? Yeah. It's interesting that they match like that. It's almost like there's nothing wrong because they like they confirm each other. How would you say they they confirm each other? They oh they they make it seem like it's right. I don't think of, I don't know the word. I can't think of the word. Honestly, I like the higher one better. They still match, right? They still match when they're low like that, but just, I don't know, the high one, they just sound like they match so much better. 
Is it, do they really match? Because when it's low, it doesn't sound like it matches, right? No, it doesn't seem like that, eh? No, it's right. Looking pretty right. Doesn't sound right. But I'm gonna go with the high, just because they kinda... That's not the high. Isn't this supposed to be F-sharp? Why does it keep changing like that? Yeah, so that's the high, right? Sure. Yeah, they're where they gotta be. Oh, I like it. It's just at first the change is weird. And I like them better up there than I do down. Alright, so now it's time to drive them. Let's give them a drive here. Also, I gotta do the stupid stuff, right? So, going for the stupid stuff, which is the ugly roll off here. So, to the ugly roll off. Uh, should I start with that? Use that as the driver? I'll drive into the ugly roll off here. Okay, so time for proactive listening here. This is what? Drums. Just want this to be drums here. It already is drums. Driving time. Oof. Maybe let's turn that down for me. Also, I don't have pitch or conditioning on, so I'm going to turn conditioning on here. Okay, and then bring another one. More. And then I start starting to get to that point where it's really getting wet, right? Now it's just pulling on everything to the point where it's like not even, where it's pulling on that, that zero crossing. Which one is this? It's three. Does it matter? It doesn't really matter? Okay, so I'm gonna try to get rid of that that, that crispiness. Say that last time it was about twenty percent, right? Okay. Every sample's different though, so. Still kind of there, try 5%. It's that like abrupt. Sh Sounds like it's gone there. Maybe less, 7. Still there. 8. Starting to leave. Nine, but it's still there. Almost gone. So ten is pretty much the point where it's gone. Yeah, where it's gone. Like nine is pretty much gone, but it's still kind of there. Okay, so that's not really where I want it to be, I don't think. Like that's pretty hardcore. I don't know. And that's, that's last time. I'm not going to use the compressors on board uh, gainer because it does something weird. Okay, so wish I had like a sort of a inversion. Do I have an inversion? I think I might somewhere. Like, you know, you turn up one knob and the other one comes down sort of thing. But that would be in the compressor, right? So it's fine where it is, but like... Need better tools. Well, I don't need better tools. These are old tools that I have to use. <laughs> so kind of stuck. All right, just getting where it's at here. Okay, we gotta come way down. Mm, a little up. It just sounds like it's trying to be loud, right? Sounds kind of good though.
Wow. That wasn't the original idea. So like, I'm trying not to change it too much. So let's not do that. Cause it just, it sounds awesome, but it just sounds like it's a different track now. Right. Okay. So just do some different driving there. Get it to the point. Let's look at it through the, uh, the oscilloscope here. Okay. That's really annoying by itself without paying attention to it and just sitting in the background. I mean, it's probably annoying to anybody who's tuning in. It's just this blaring snare, but it's where I got to be, man. So looking at it here as it changes, right? So there, it's just kind of there and we start to drive it. It's not even like maximum, right? Max body. This is max body without compression. Max body with compression. Out. That's kind of where I want it to be. So this might be fine here. Like I said, I'm not trying to, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, let me smart disable, right? So my computer doesn't melt because this is my frequency shifter that's really starting to hog. And when it's running, is it's running? Yeah, it's still running. Mm. Oh well. Let's look at how busy it is. Yeah, look at that. It's 60, 50, 70, 83. Ouch, man. Ouch. Can I like bring that down a bit without sacrificing? Uh, you know, the mirroring? Because I have it at maximum, right? And I have it in settings here, options. I think this was before I really, yeah. They're backwards. This should be uh, options and that should be settings because this is a, a display and this is, uh, yeah. Anyway, standard, right? Standard and I have it on advanced. 10,000 taps compared to 500. So when does the mirroring start to go away here? I'm going to look at it un, unprocessed. And then if I switch back to standard here, we can see that mirroring's there. So when does that go away? 500, 10,000. Let's try, say, a thousand. No, let's try something drastic like 5,000. Because that's half a 10,000. Okay, so it's gone pretty much. Is this really even doing anything? Let's try 500 here and see if it's the same thing. Because I thought I had like a regular filter there. And then when you switch to high quality, it switches to, you know, the linear phase. But yeah, okay, so it's it, that's exactly what's going on. So a thousand. Still there. Oh, that's a hundred. Thousand starting to go away. Two thousand. And this is kind of the roll off, eh? So it looks like about 2000 is decent. So we'll go 2500. And then that'll save me some steep view overhead. Because let's see, compared to last time now. So we're not, it's like 68, 83. Like, wow, that was crazy. Okay, back to the snare here. What was I doing? Just looking at it, right? And deciding, like, this is with compression here. There's the full body that's with compression. We're not losing much gain. There's overdriven. Okay, this is underdriven or under compressed. Or rather, normal compression. Normal body. No, that's only like half. If I look at the side here, I'm seeing like half of three to six and nine and six is usually half. So the compressor is actually providing six more decibels of gain. So if I wanted it to be, you know, driven in here-ish. And then six plus. Without. Without. So how much between here and there is really. Let's hear you have a listen with everything here. Mm 
Somewhere in the middle. Kind of like it there. Okay, and then I'll correct it. And actually use some more pull here. All right then. Other one happening like that. Ugly roll off here. Then I want just this pattern. Then I'll drive into it. It's a dinky one, eh? It's got this thing out the end, this tail. What? Let's see how much we can demolish that. Fair warning, extra loud. Hmm. Interesting. And see, so we don't have that like drop off at the end. I don't have this drop off that just goes. Shh. It's like. Shh. Whereas I fix the other one, it's like. Shh. Right. It doesn't have that zero crossing. Problem. This one doesn't seem to have it. Okay, drive some more here. Okay, so that's the super extreme here is about the regular level of compression. It's like no compression. 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 Really? Yeah. So it's like a, would you say a tremolo at the end? We got like there's two of them. And when without with the compressor, compressor, and just being loud, it's it's kind of just one. So it's pulling on like that reverberation, that really fast reverberation, and leveling it out. So it makes it sound like there's two. As we blare it, you can it's more, you know, adamant. It's driving into it and just super highlighting it. It's almost like there's three there, but it's it's real. So it's really only two. It just rattles the brain past a certain point. So kind of like it here, but not so much. Like kind of sort of around here. Here. So you can still kind of hear that second reverberation, but it's not like blaring. So let's hear that with everything else. Again, I'm going to correct for it here. Mm, get it to like a negative 30 level. Again, I'm probably mixing too loud at negative 30, so I better reconsider. But I could always just pull down later, right? It's... Okay, so this is after. Pretty much where it needs to be. Okay. It's a really big body though. Like a really low, big low end. So here with everything. That's way too loud. It's the low end doing that. I don't even think the corrector's not on. That's why. There's no corrector. So it is where it needs to be, but it's like the, the wind is really bringing that perceptual loudness. 
even though it's generally where it needs to be. But I'll bring it down here and find the perceptual level where it feels consistent with everything. It's still really loud. I don't think it's on. It's not. Okay. Ugh. No, I'm not sure about that secondary rattle now. That's secondary uh, components. No. Maybe it should just be something fast, right? Something quick. So. Let's put it back ish. Hmm, needs to be quicker still. I'm just gonna make this. Yeah. Oh my, I've done it. Fifteen point five drive. It's still there, yeah. but it still feels kind of loud, right? So let's bring it down a bit. Four point five ish. A little louder still. A little louder. <clears throat> it's got a number two. There's going to be a DS on there, right? So I'm going to get a preview of that. No bounds. Tasty now, anyway. I almost want to pull on it now because it looked like it so totally murdered it. The air is missing now. And that body's crazy though. Mm, so let's bring, I'm going to bring this up. I would say let's. There's no we, there's only me. So I want to bring this body up to about here-ish. Because that de -er is there, right? I might just have to keep it on now, the de -er. Too loud. Is it on? It's not on, that's why. So it's too loud. We're getting more of that air. What I want. It's a different track now too much. Oops. The wrong. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it bring the drive down a bit here. Cause it's just a completely different track past that point. But it lost something now. <laughs> uh, yeah. It feels like a different snare at that point. So I feel like that's a bit of a middle ground. This one sounds weird too now. Find that middle ground for this guy. I feel like they're too dominant. 
and they should just kind of be sitting in the background a bit more. This one that's a little too dominant. <clears throat> okay, that feels pretty much like how it used to be, but a little more rounded and a little more solid. There's also stereo can just consider fine for now and get rid of all these extra PEQs. And the base is sort of where it needs to be. <clears throat> Gotta get rid of that click for sure. Just listening. I remember back in the day, this track used to be so unbalanced and everything, but what it, it used to do like this woofing effect. Like, woof, 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 woof. Here it is. Woof, 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 woof. So that's this guy here, six. It's got that annoying bass boost. So I'll bring in Toad here and, oops. Bring in Toad here and look at the bass. Aiming here. Turn that off. What is that? I didn't even look at the key. <clears throat> but not a lot can change note wise. I got my root. It's really all that matters at this point. This can come up though. Mm. Way up. Okay. Just considering, like, it can come up. However, it's dangerous with bringing up the high end. Here's an out gain. Here's that. Turn it up and see where it's at. If it's too, like, high, I might have to use, like, a tilt or something. Okay. So we want to come up a whole bunch. Again, more click. Okay, so undo that. Can I undo that? I'm gonna do it a few times. And I'll just use a gainer again. Again, it's a clicks. And I'm not even using waveforms. Yeah, I should be using waveforms. Okay, so that's where I want it. What is this? And why is it clicking? No, well, that's why. Why is it like that, though? It's not even using the loop points. There. An analog base like that, too? Yeah. So let's see you lose loop points around here. We'll get where we want to be. Get rid of those zero cross crossing kicks. Where's this base sitting? This also has to come up. Maybe not that much. What was it like before without toads, right? What kind of balance does it have here? It looks like a pretty solid slope. Oh, without toads. Still is pretty solid slope. Okay. Let's try with everything. I'm probably mixing too high. This needs to come way up. Why does this have a base boost? 100. There's nothing there. There's nothing there to boost. Okay. Roll off. Ugly roll off again. Again, I gotta get the ugly roll off here as well. It's probably gonna mess with the base. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. It's gonna have the ugly roll off though. Okay, so like the baseline is somewhere like way down here, so 
I'm gonna have to come away up. Still no baseline. It's sorta of almost there. Let's crank it. It's still down here though. As loud as it's gonna get, I think so. It's already past zero. It needs more of a sustain too. Try these. That's why these, now that these are, you know, following loop points, they're, yeah, there. This one can keep doing that because that didn't change. Okay. So this is a bit of a problem there. Right, so I'm just going to go ahead and articulate that stuff. It's okay. So that should fix the zero crossing click and still give me that sustain. This definitely needs some tilt. Oh, I picked the wrong one. to where it was. Well, it did have the base boost, right? It's just an amount. Full. Which I gotta call it there. <clears throat> Check out my website, jwpsite.com for my social links, status news and updates, and public offerings. My Twitch, JWP stream, Facebook, JWP Meta, YouTube, at JWPTube. If you'd like to help support what I do, check out my Patreon, JWP Patreon. That's with two Ps. There's exclusive content there for making your own audio plugins and synth edit. My GoFundMe, JWP Fund, or my PayPal, JWPMAS at gmail.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, a like, comment, and or subscribe are appreciated. Thanks for watching. Until next time.